intestines, intestines, one, two, three, intestines. Anyway, hello, YouTube. Okay, I'm using this audio clip, 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 clip. I'm just kidding. I'm using this audio clip to inform people here on YouTube. My channel is changing, just like a metamorphosis. The alien factory is changing. Actually, it was factor. I, I don't know why I said factory. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's a joke. Uh, it's an unnameable joke. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, anyway, <laughs> unnameable. Nobody's going to get that. <laughs> uh, I just uh, revealed my age by saying something so redonkulous. But donk a donk. Anyway, <laughs> uh, okay, I am creating a vocal booth. Creating a vocal booth. Well, it's more like an isolation booth because it's like, it's five, it's five by six. Uh, I know it sounds a little odd, but yeah, it's five by six, five feet in front of you, six feet on the side, left to right. Um, I'm hoping to, you know, I made it that, that long so I could have maybe a, not even maybe a, a drummer sitting there. So yeah. Well, anyway, the, the point is 5962. Um, my name is Eric Palacio, as you can see there on my YouTube page. See that? P-A-L-A-C-I-O. C-I-O. Sounds like a, sounds like one word, right? C-I-O? I'm Mexican now. Hey, what? Ciao. That probably doesn't mean anything. I don't know Spanish. I was just kidding. Uh, but I, I, I always tell people I could have been a good foreigner. I mean, I could have been Chinese. Hey, <laughs> you no star. <laughs> Get out of my store. <laughs> well, that sounds like more like Arnold. You know, the last one. Uh. Get out, of, get out of my store. You, you know, star. Get out of my store. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I'm just, that's how I am normally. I I feel silly. Uh, for silly Jerry. Seinfeld. Um, but yeah, I'm putting my vocal booth together. Sorry for all the banter. I'm putting my vocal booth together. Uh, I should be done around the 4th or 3rd of March. And I'm going to have video here up soon. I'm going to get me that nice, beautiful 1080p picture that people so often been talking about. But the only problem is I can't see that. I, well, I used to be able to say I can't see that well, but now I can't see anything. I'm B-L-I-N-D. Now, for those who don't know what that is, that's blind. But I used to be able to see, and I loved it, and it was great, and I had my chance. I had my chance. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you catch me talking about, I don't know, movies or, or, or Blu-ray transfers or HD DVD, old fallacies, anything to do with, like, video and everything, I, don't get weirded out. I know more about a lot of this stuff than my visual friends do. My visual friends. Oh, great. Anyway, <laughs> my visual friends. <laughs> that sounds weird. Uh, I don't really... Well, anyway, so this is uh, my vocal booth. Uh, I'm putting it out. There's two... Uh, I'm doing two by four framing for it. Two by four. Beat your ass with a two by four. Two. I'll beat your ass twice. Four times when you get up. But uh, it's seven feet tall. Just in case I get a big brother in there that wants to rap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you get someone in the studio like, no, this guy's 6'6". Six, six, six. Um, yo, man, my vocal booth, you're going to have to duck. <laughs> no. But I made it seven feet tall on purpose. Hopefully I don't get anybody above seven feet. You never know. I mean, all shapes and sizes. All shapes and sizes. Uh-uh. But, uh, so, Yeah. Uh, I, I, I made it big enough to have two or three vocalists in there at the same time or a drummer at the, uh, a drummer or a guitarist in there with an amplifier or just an amplifier in there, which is going to be cool. And it just anyway, point is, it's a nice vocal isolation booth. Uh, I 
wanted to see if I can make it seven by six, but uh, who knows? I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I I, I think this is good enough, though. Excuse me. Um, I have new stuff down there. Well, it's not exactly new material, but they are new mixes. And I have progressed in that. I want to say... I mean, a, a part of me wants to say a lot and a part of me wants to say a little because I want to be further ahead. But uh, I guess in the long run, I, I, you can say I've made strides in mixing. And uh, I have recently upgraded my RME baby face, baby face to a Lynx Aurora 8. World class converters. Now, <clears throat> when you go on websites... When you start researching, you'll see three to four top talked about converters all over the world. And Lynx Aurora is one of them. So that's awesome. Possum. Blossom. Yes. Uh, so it's either going to be, you're either going to see Lynx Aurora or the new, the, there's a new one called Lynx, uh, what's it called? Halo? But I think that's for mastering. Hello. Um, there's another one out called the E44. Anyway, it's supposed to be a little better than the Lynx Aurora, but not like, whoa, better. So it's not like a big difference if you get the Lynx Aurora or whatever they have new out. Not much of a step up. But um, it's you're, gonna, you're either going to hear about the app, the Apogee Symphony. Symphony, excuse me, Symphony? I don't know. The Ap Apogee... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, whatever it colors the sound a little bit so a lot of people like that uh what i liked about uh Lynx aurora is it doesn't color the sound at all it leaves it completely clean and transparent and uh, as a as a beginning producer who's been i've been doing this for oh i six seven years producing music i can say that i rather color the sound myself than have a uh, apogee converter color it yeah. Eh. Anyway. Uh, excuse me. But I guess what I mean by that is I like to have it transparent and cool. try to create the color myself. Um. Other than that, let's see. There's there's a prism. I'm in prison. There's a prism Titan. And from what I hear, it's gotten better with uh, USB interfacing. Um, but it's not as good as the Lynx or the RMEs. Uh, I love RME, and I was going to go with the UFX, and I, oh, man, you know, I was like, oh, UFX. I'm like, ah, it's not bad, and checked it out, and <clears throat> turns out it doesn't get much better than the baby face. It's just the UFX gives you a lot more connections, and it devils up the thickness of the tracks by sort of giving you like a multi uh, thicken up recording of the of of the samples, um, but from what I heard about the links, they're like way above. So ha! I'm just kidding, but anyway, um, other than that, uh, just let I just I'm getting my vocal booth ready, and I'm gonna be putting some new material up in a month or so. As soon as I get that vocal booth done, I'm setting everything back up in the because I, I tore everything down. That's why I haven't uh, I haven't posted a new song in a while, and I've just been doing different mixes of stuff I worked on last year, which is you know it's cool, but at the same time, like I don't know, if it's, uh, there's twenty twenty one subscribers. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're just I have no idea why they subscribe to me. Maybe I make good music. Maybe I don't. Uh, I believe I do. I mean, you got to believe that, right? You got to believe that or you're working for nothing. <laughs> Anybody have any bowls? That's a joke. Just like my life. Oh. Well, when I, start get, when I start to get some sound effects, I'll make some tear noises and play some sad piano music in the background. That's right now. Um, um, it's a very cut and dry, uh, don't mean to be boring people, sorry about that, uh, but I can give you guys, uh, I will, I'm gonna boast, I'm gonna boast, I'm gonna, po I'm gonna post with a P, post, um, I'm gonna do some live 
samples of music that I have been working on. And I'm going to be <laughs> smiling big. I'm going to be using my Lynx Auroras when I do my next track or tracks. Because I got a lot of material I've been working with for the past year that I have not even recorded or whatever. And you know, that, that'll be my next vid Oh, clip. No, I meant to say clip, sound clip, because um, I don't have my camera yet. What I'm going to do is, uh, oh, it's only like, what, there's there's one for $60, 60, in between 60 65 bucks on Amazon called the, uh, excuse me, the, um, the, 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 the C920. It's by Logitech. Logitech or Logitouch, I don't know who, however they pronounce it, Logitech, and it's the C920, and from what I hear, it's one of the best webcams you can get, hands down, stereo mic, built in, of course I'll probably use my own, you know, since I got, I mean, why use a stereo mic when you can use some Aurora links? but anyway, it's a joke, um, uh, but the video I hear, the video is great. I can get 1080p on YouTube, and I can get 1080p when I'm Skyping with people if I decide to, you know, even record Skypes. And right now, um, the reason why I've been learning uh, so much of my mixing, um, I've been taking at least a good 35% of what I can get from this guy. Um, his, name's, his name is Graham Cochran. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of him on YouTube. The Recording Revolution. But anyway, I've been taking his dueling mixes. Uh, his dueling mixes every month. And, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. They give you high-end, top-quality tracks. And you really don't pay nothing for them. I mean, $27 a month. It's $27 a month. I don't mean to be advertising him. But it's not bad. Uh, especially if you're a visual person. You could at least take a good 85% away from it. If you know, if not that, uh, but me as a, a, a someone who can really cannot really see what they're doing on videos because they got a lot of video tutorials, I do my best to try to take something away audibly, um, you know, sound wise. Uh, but other than that, I don't want to be bantering like a, you know, a Joe a Joe name nameless up in here, a Joe Lane Joe Lamus name name s. But, uh, it's a joke. Yeah, joking. Big joke, you son of a... So, uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. I would check, uh, Graham Cocker. And if you're interested in learning how to mix better and, you know, you don't have that great equipment, he can actually show people how to do a great job of doing that with some cheap equipment and affordable equipment and also the extreme million, whatever dollar equipment you want to purchase. It's a joke. Why do I keep saying that? Because I'm an idiot joke actually i'm just gonna name that i'm like called eric's joke uh video uh clip sound clip eric is a joke anyway so i'll have my other video up here soon after this one i'll probably post it right after because after i finish doing this one i think i'm just gonna pick my guitar up and do it get out of the get it out of the way you know, at least have some new stuff up here on YouTube. But anyway, this is Eric Palacio, and I'm signing out and saying, I, I, I don't love L.A., but I love my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, Eric out. Later, Gators. Later, Gators.